Okay, my outstanding friends, today we're going to do Petra. I'm going to go a very deep detail into what Petra is, how it was constructed, and so forth. Now, I just did put up a video about Giant's Causeway, and it went up, and there's a couple of minutes missing sound in the beginning. So, I'm probably going to replace that one. And, um... I was going to do Devil's Tower, <laughs> which I will, but I figured I'll throw Petra in between the two. And then I will put back up G Giant's Causeway, because I, I came up with a couple more things that I should have included. I'll, I'll just do it over again so that I can make it a little cleaner. I, I, I know my presentations are not, you know, high quality, but they're, they're informative. I hope they're informative. If, if I'm, I'm not getting through to you, you know, ask me some questions, but, you know, I don't mind answering questions. But about this, the, what I present, you know, if, if I don't make it clear, well, see if I can clear it up for you. All right, let's get into Petra, what this is. And again, it's all biology. This is all biology. That is not just there. You know, somebody brought a whole bunch of stuff there to make it. They made it out of what was there, and what was there was biology. So let's, I'm going to show you just what it is. Okay, my friends, prepare yourself. We're going to do Petra today in extreme detail, because I still have some questions about Petra. I think I understand it pretty well now. And I can tell you that, like they're saying, what kind of technology was used to cut the rocks. Now, let's look into this. I'm going to show you these in close detail. I have a bunch of other shots about Petra and some information about Petra that I think pretty much closes the case on what it is, how it was built, and now we have to, there's a few other things we got to decide. That's, that's where we're going to go with it. But originally, I'm going to show you what it's literally made of and how did they carve this? Do they have jackhammers, or how did they do it? Did they use little stone tools? Well, let's figure it out. Okay, I'm sure most of you know that I literally discovered mud fossils. I've been studying for 15 years, and literally everything that I can find has a biological basis to it. And you say, well, this is just nothing but rocks. Well, let's investigate this. Let's look at the people down here. Look at how big these people are. You see these doors here? This is What about the history of this thing? Look at how little tiny these people are. And what is this thing made out of? And how did they carve it into this rock? All right, how could they get to do such a perfect job? Well, let's see what this rock is made of, first of all. And then make some decisions about why these people are so tiny. And how did they actually excavate this rock and make these gorgeous carvings. Now Petra wasn't the only one where they carved these things and they carved them everywhere around the world. The next video I'm going to be doing is going to be about the stone walls down in Peru. But today we're just going to concentrate on Petra and these types of carvings out of whatever this was before they carved it. Okay, I, I've got to assume that almost everybody knows about Petra, which is this city in Jordan, which was on the trade route since, like they say, 7000 BC. And it was carved out of this material, this red sandstone, they're calling it. A rose red city, half as old as time. It goes way, way, way back. Now, you can dig into the history of Petra, but it's in Jordan, and um, I, I believe it was on a trading route, and it was quite a wealthy city, apparently at one time. I, I don't know that much about its actual history, but I do know about what it was built out of. Okay, I want to make two quick statements. If I didn't already say this is going to be a shocker du jour, this is going to be a shocker du jour. Now, secondly, I did say I believe that all we were going to do is Petra today. Well, 
We're also going to do Mars, because Petra has a link to Mars, believe it or not. And of course, you know, this is Petra. They call this the treasury. And we saw these people standing on here that are about this tall, right down here. This is a very, very large structure. You see that? You see these colored bands here? These people aren't even that high up on these colored bands. So remember how big these doorways are and so forth and how enormous this structure really is. And you see these little blocks here? We're going to be looking at these carefully in a minute. But look at the size of these people. You'd be standing up to about here. And this is one of these blocks. There's another block, another block, another block. I have other better pictures to show you. I just want to give you a perspective of how small people are in comparison to this structure. All right, I might as well not keep you in suspense. This is a mud fossil. This is down below. This is what they call the treasury. And I showed you these little people down here. They were about up to here. And these are the blocks I was talking about. And this is way up above. And I'll show you this in more detail. But these were the people standing about, standing about this tall. They're standing maybe this tall on each one of these blocks. You see these blocks right here? And all this was just whatever, however that happened, I don't know. Well, I do know, and you'll know in a minute, too. And this is what is up above, which is this, you know, whatever you make of it. I know what it is, and you will uno momento. All right, as I told you, this is mud fossil biology. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is the area that Petra is in. These are the valleys, the gorges that come through there. I guess you call them gorges, I don't know. You see all of these, they're all separated in these little slabs like that. You see that? How interesting is that? Why would that be like that? Well, let's go see if we can find Petra. You see, they're all over the place. The same patterns, the same patterns. Oh, there's Petra. Right, and you see the same blocky, blocky. Remember the blocks right here? That's nothing more than these. These are the same things. And this right here is where they carved Petra into. Now, the other things I showed you that is actually muscle. I'll be honest with you. Here's what you got right now. This is muscle fibers. They're called sarcomeres. This was the connective tissue, which was all those webbing looking things. I'll show you back again. This is a artery. That's an actual artery, and it was saturated and packed with blood, and they just removed chunks of the blood and dug into the tissue, and I will show you that in a second. Now, these were where the blood flowed to service all that muscle, and all that muscle had to be serviced. Now, let's go in close and look at it, because these are the muscle sarcomeres. Now, don't forget what they look like. They've all got separations in them. All right, they're all like separated all like this. And then there's also separations this way. Okay, I'm going to turn you into a biologist and an anatomist. These are muscle sarcomeres. Look carefully at these blocks. You see a block? You see the, this is really what they call slurpy. It's a small leucine rich proteins which coat the fibers of the muscle. These are muscle fibers. And they slide back and forth amongst themselves. And you see, this is the best one to see. Right here. You see the block right here? That's the separation between this muscle sarcomere and the next one up. So you have this layer here. You see it right there? Then you have this layer here. Same thing. So that puts that block in its own little area. Now, there's a line right down here. I hope you can see that. I mean, this is, this is very easy to see. Don't forget, here's the outline of the bottom. There's the layer of the top to separate this chunk. There's the line right down here. So you end up with this block in between these two layers. 
and then you see this has got black and red and this is just reddish looking that's a muscle sarcomere and when you contract your muscle these two things pull together let me show you anatomically okay my friends this again is the treasury and this is a sarcomere so now let's go to the anatomical of this don't forget you see in these blocks these are all sarcomeres and these people were standing they were only up to like this tall they were only up like this tall and they, you, tiny little people all right now you saw this whole whole shooting match here and that's how big this is and that that is really very very tall because the people were like like the size of that hand not even all right now let's look at it a little deeper all right these are sarcomeres they're muscle sarcomeres they need a lot of blood now you see the different colors here these pinch together and when they pinch together they let, this is a contracted muscle this is just a relaxed but they have these separation zones exactly identical to what we saw right here these here are those blocks and there's the two different what it is is they engage like this to pull together one of them's connective tissue and one of them has more red floppy stuff and they pull together so these are muscles and inside the treasury it's just nothing more than flesh all right so don't forget you got the petra up close so we just you saw the sarcomeres this is from the long ways and the whole thing is sarcomeres this is up above and it has all that connective tissue in it that is nothing more than connective tissue you show this to any butcher he's going to say yep that's connective tissue that's that grizzle yep i know all about that stuff i know and that is up above petra that, i believe it's right up in this area i think I, i'm not 100 percent sure but it's up above petra could be way up here I don't know but it, it definitely transitions from muscle into something else up here which is where it glues into the tendon or whatever it happens up above here but this is absolutely no question this is muscle and that is absolutely no question that was blood and it serviced all of this tissue here now this is a, a rock and that's the surface of the outside of the rock and it's cut straight across and that's the you know skin area and then you get down to the muscle right below and it's fed with a lot of blood this is just raw blood the blood feeds the muscle like unbelievable you need tons of blood you see all this but these are those sarcomeres i mean there's no way you can miss this it's unmissable now that is what we saw on Petra right here these are the exact same things right here all right go back a couple of times and look and make sure you understand what you're looking at I mean it's unmissable the two different colors the blocks and the one right on top of the other they're separated by these bands precisely what you have here plenty of blood plenty of blood uh, and up above the treasury there's the connective tissue which I believe this is the transition into tendon all right because the muscle eventually has to go into tendon all right so this is the split of it here's the below and this is up above which makes total sense and this is inside the treasury which is that big building that they carved in the artery 
and there's actually blood and this is all connective tissue I mean, you show this to any surgeon they're gonna know what that is I mean how could you possibly miss this it's unmissable they, they, nobody built this like this to have blood leaking out of the top <laughs> all right you see this these are the sarcomeres you see that and that and that those are tears rips in the muscle because they can rip they can rip apart they, these are basically sports injuries and you oh man I tore and I've done that and probably everybody has they didn't realize it but these are what happens is the, the muscles actually separate and um, and then this is like blood servicing the tissue that pretty much I believe that's what you should see in there and there's fluid that flows through there see the blood is running through here and you have to have a ton of blood in there but these are rips in the muscle which is this so this is like torn here and torn over there now this is where all the blood's coming through here. And the other one I showed you has blood in it as well. Shows This one here has, just happens to have a lot. It, it probably was tipped this way or something and the blood ran down. Cause, um, but your body's saturated with blood. Yeah, that's the, the whole thing. You need a lot of blood moving. Now, here's the crazy thing. You just saw this. This is in Turkey. That's muscle. This thing collapsed. This is an olive grove, all right, and it's slanted down this way. And under this olive grove, there was all that red blood. Was a, there was a slab of red blood? I have other shots showing that there was a lot of it, and apparently it ran out underneath because it that stuff flows. Now either somebody was cave making a cave in there, or it just ran out. I don't know. But you see how the red blood here? These are the, these are the actual sarcomere blocks. Just like the ones that I just showed you before. Now, they need a lot of blood. Now, there's going to be places where this is just barely getting some blood, hardly at all. This was the tissue above... The, you know, this is like the little fleshy stuff. Things grow in there quite well. But once you get down to here, you're in your sarcomeres. And it needs blood, you see? You got blood feeding everything. But underneath, there's going to be a real dense layer of blood, just like I showed you here. You see up here, you don't have too much? Well, you got some here, but then you, get, you start getting these dense layers of blood that support that tissue and to my mind they leaked out in a, in a pretty broad scale because this was huge wide gigantic um, collapse this was not just one little tiny earthquake one click like that no the whole thing dropped so everything underneath must have been flowed out all right, this is Turkey, and this is a collapse. This whole thing collapsed, and I know why it collapsed. Now, let's watch this. All right, this was not an earthquake. This was a collapse. Now, we're going to be looking at some of these pictures of the walls of, you know, where did all that stuff go to? Why did it just drop? You see this right here? This is what we need to look at is these pictures of these walls. And I'll show you what they are and why they, there was a pocket underneath of them and why they collapsed. This was devastating, absolutely devastating. All right, so let's see if we can find some better shots. All right, I have shown you or will show you the epicenter of where this whole collapse took place. But it was a magnitude 7.8 earthquake. It was a collapse, actually. It killed more than 40,000 people. It, it just flattened the cities that were outside of this zone, but the whole thing was just, just collapsed. So it actually killed over 50,000. 65 nightmarish seconds of the 
everything happening. Pre-dawn hours, 6th February 2023. The ground swallowed swaths of entire cities across Southeast Turkey. 50,000 deaths. Bridges, roads, airports, tarmacs. Millions of lives across 11 Turkish provinces were upturned by the time the rest of the country woke up stunned. And it was stunning. All right, I'm almost positive I showed you this is the muscle sarcomeres. And that's exactly what Turkey, right? On this, this right here is the, the top where they're growing the trees uh, from the top here growing up. This is the dirt at the top. This is where the muscle starts, and this is what the red blood is that ran out from under the muscles, and that whole system collapsed. That's my take on it, and I'm pretty sure I'm right, because here's what they are. These are muscle sarcomeres, and this is, this is red blood. That's red blood coming out of there, and there, there's going to be plates underneath here that are just saturated with red blood, and they ran out because this is running down a hill. I had some other shots, and I... I've lost them, but this one here is um, muscle sarcomeres, and I'm sure there was a red layer underneath. I did see it one time before. I have I have a piece of muscle here. Hold on, where is it? Uh, what did I do? With it? Oh, here it is. You see this right here? That's the red muscle or uh, blood. That's the muscle. You have to have a lot of red blood filtering into this muscle. And now these are sarcomeres too. They're just so tiny you can't see them. But if this was turned upside down and this red was underneath here, it would run out of there and make a cave just like that. Well, here, I'll tell you what. <laughs> here it is right there. This is what happened underneath Turkey. They're growing their trees up here. Everything's fine. And all these sarcomeres are in here. They're all right. They'll be fine. But this eroded right out. You see it? And left a big cavity under here. And it all dropped. Because they're, they're, they're on fracture zones. But if they're supported, they're not going to go anywhere. If they're unsupported, they'll fall all over the place. Because your, your muscles can rip, too. You can rip a muscle here and one here and one over here. Well, I'll show you. See, this is another same thing as turkey. These are all the sarcomeres. You see them all over the place. That's a rip. That's a rip. That's a rip. The muscles ripped. Well, in this case, they rip because of tension. They had, they, these have blood in them, too, all over, saturated underneath. Now, if everything was dried out and it was here for thousands of years, and then all of that cavity left, and you step on it, you'd crack it down the same thing, and it would just collapse. It's not, not hard to understand. It's, it, when, once you understand that we live on biology, 100%, I, I don't care what you say. You can tell me all day long, oh, no, no, Roger. But I, <laughs> I can prove to you that I am right. And all of this stuff was biology that turned hard after the great flood. Right? This is, this is biology. That's blood. That's blood running into tendons. This is tendon. There's the blood over here, too. This was an artery somewhere. And that's the blood running down to service whatever it had to service. The whole world is this way. And I'm going to go, I'm going to do the next one will be um, Devil's Tower, which I, this, this right here. This is all tendons, too. That's the wrinkle zone up at the top where it snapped. They break off flat as a pancake. So I'm going to go over that, and then I'm also going to go over the, the rocks and the walls and everything that are down in Peru and Bolivia where they have those bumps on the walls. Nobody ever can figure out what these bumps are. Why would they leave these bumps? I know exactly why, and I shall tell you why. And it relates to this right here. <laughs> it's all biology, my friends. So I'm going to put this one up. I'm probably going to take down the other one about Giant's Causeway and rework it. And then um, I'm also going to be doing uh, the Peru ones. And, and they had equipment down there. They had actual physical machinery. And I can prove that. And I'm not guessing at this at all. I don't make guesses on this stuff. Very rare that I'm guessing. I show the evidence to support my claims. That's what I will do when we get into that. All right, I love you all. And um, thanks for uh, watching. All right. 
try to stay in, informed and, and open your mind up and think and speak to other people. Don't, don't, don't be afraid. You're on the right side of this. Don't be afraid.